What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died. Isn't that inconsistent? Yeah, Paletta, sorry about that. It's something weird happening. Very common in auto injuries. Good thing I look checked. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. If I didn't look, I wouldn't have known the, uh, I wouldn't have known after the stream stopped. I was like, what are you doing? It's like, my boy's trying to watch me uh, solve a case here, assholes. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on your desk. Oh, come on. It's 1947. I traveled a good 20 feet. Can't even run DNA yet. This blood is a long way from the body. Car must have been going like a got, bat out of hell. Yeah, got launched. Got launched because I saw it happen. <laughs> you know, like in the movies. The om omnipresent, uh, the omniscient audience member. The uh, that make you uncomfortable. And in your shit like this. Safe space. Okay, what the? It's all yours, that? detective. So the driver managed to break before the impact. Good observation, actually. What the fuck? Oh. Someone was just cutting up the velvet cake. That's my guess. Come on, you let it zoom in, let it zoom in. That's, I forgot how you do this effectively. There you knife go. Knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit-and-run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. See, Belkowski, that's why I'm moving up the ladder. The meteoric son of a bitch, and you are just going to have to suck my dust. Was that a cat? All right. Check the guy's, uh... Aha! Good thing I fucking looked back here. And check his other pocket. His beer pressure right now is receipt application for TV. Madison has life insurance. What's <laughs> in the circle? What the fuck? Sixteen thousand. Now just times that by a hundred. Or uh I'm sorry. By twelve hundred. Times it by ten or twelve and that's today's money. Ten is the easier number. It's basically what hundred sixty thousand, then? Um, what, what else?
I missing something here? Maybe talk to the lady? Anything? Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Okay. Done straight up. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. But we what kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. 3C8. Well, good. that's good. Something. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. You, you know... You're lying. Or... You're half lying, which means you're gonna do bad cop. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. <laughs> trying to find work as an actress and things are pretty, pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you Aww. find that driver and put him away. Aw. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest. That was the happiest. <laughs> Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bar That's the biggest you smile the rest of the I've room. ever seen Cole have, uh, put out there. Um... Up my paper, my paper. Before I talk. Promises mental breakthrough. Courtney! Come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? This guy's name is Courtney, huh? Fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. Because he's a fucking so quack. So many of the patients here are addicts, doctor. Many of them have been for oh, years. Oh, he's calling Courtney. you out. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. If we can reveal the root of the problem, then we have a chance to help them. Sanatorium. Uh, no. Until then, they stay sedated. Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Oh, no. Part of being a physician is enough. learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually of benefit to society at large. <laughs> what kind of fucking explanation is that? What appears to be bad is actually good. <laughs> Guy. He says it with such conviction, he's gonna fucking fool a whole lot of them. It's like, wait. Oh, if you put it that way, so much confidence, I guess you. 
You're on to something. Okay. I'm Detective Let's Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, this Detective? Guy. Your name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna, Mrs. Patterson, home. What can you tell me about the like accident? He's up to no good. Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. Those eyes, dude. <laughs> uh, was that a good enough lie? So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Well, no reason to lie about that, I guess. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Yeah. That <laughs> smile. What the fuck, bro? Um, on another note, it's just, it's just confusing me. Because those choices used to be... Um, uh, truth, doubt, lie. Now it's good cop, bad cop, accuse. Um, just used to the original way, I guess. Bartenders here all sorts of things. This is the remaster. I guess they changed. Are you gonna tell me, or do we have to start the, playing rough? Wording. When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. Sure, no problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Love tap. So, um... I feel like I'd missed a, a clue out there. Hold on. I feel like I... Let me check the friggin' jacket again. What a god. Did I not look at the wallet right? I have like a bad... I have a bad habit of like... Not clicking everything in, within the object. Alright, let's give it another look. I guess so yeah, I did do that, right? What about the dollar? Can I grip can I turn it? Nothing nothing. I, I had my initials in my wallet.
like I didn't hear the music end properly. Whatever. You catch all the good deal with it. Thanks, buddy. Good to talk to you. Sorry, Phelps. Do you mind if I get on with this? No problem. At least you're nice. Photographer could go suck an egg. Check the game well. Phelps badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. Looks like we caught a break on this one. You're the reason brothers and sisters shouldn't marry. Hey. Show's over. Keep moving, all of you. Right. We've got a couple of leads to run down. You have it under control here? Sure. As soon as the coroner gives the word, I'll finish up here. Very good. Got the wheel. Can you drive to this one? All right. Where to? 182 North Hope Street. Duh. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, Paletas. Hanging in there with me. I recovered a bit. And then Caught a second wind, so not sleeping quite yet. Yes? Hello? Mrs. Patterson. Is this about my husband? We're investigating oh. the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Hey. Right. The ladies are... Can you tell pretty. me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Lester and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it. Damn. Now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So back you then. probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time Next we stuff. left. I have someone here. Whoa. Hey, Major Gordon, you're going to have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy what Sabo. The? Well, well. The fuck? Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. 
good friends. You expect me to believe that? Oh, yeah. Look, I was filing for divorce. Sexy friends. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. Another hit and run. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. I don't doubt that. You expect me to believe that, Morna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. Nature of the argument. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk? We were always arguing. So what? <laughs> Admit it. You were baiting him. That pushing look. his buttons. We can easily get the full story from the regulars in the bar. All right. Lester was playing cards out back. He lost, of course, and wanted back in. He suggested I earn the money on my back to get a mistake. That was the proposition he was putting to his so-called buddies. So maybe I was a little angrier than usual. Let's just say I took exception to his idea. Uh, I'm looking at you. Uh, partnership. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning to go into business together. Can you explain how you'll get oh, yeah. the money to do that? I have a little money Sex saved business, away. Sex business, right. <laughs> oh my god. This is getting worse. No, you're lying straight up. Being economical with the truth, Lorna. You want to back that up, little man? Whoa. What did I find again? The knife. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, yeah, the insurance, right? You increase the premium on Lester's life insurance. GI insurance policies have a ten thousand dollar payout. It was Leroy's idea. Lester lived on the edge. He was always getting into fights, crap games, peanut, all you name it. Turns out it was good advice. It speaks to motive and premeditation, Lorna. You're forgetting the hit and run, detective. You and Mr. Sabo have an interesting day. I'm sure we will, officer. Now, if you could both just leave. We're leaving, ma'am. Sorry for your loss. I gotta suck this. I can see what a day. tough time you're having with all this. Mm -hmm. Have fun getting your dick wet. Sabi. Later. We'll be back. Ugh. You're behind the wheel. Uh, where are we yeah, going? Let's... Duh. West Temp. All right, this should be the last leg of the case. It's a lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff? Right. Well, in a hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you... What the fuck was that? Shelton. Is that a monkey? Squeaking. Hey. The body parts in those cases. Get them. 
Let him scurry away. He's fucking guilty as hell. That son of a bitch car. right there. <laughs> William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That coward thinks he can run from him. Check. Yeah. We lost him. Oh no, there he is. That's it. God damn it! So much for our hit and run case. Dude. I'm gonna watch the whole thing again. Oh. It's night time? Wait, did the time of day change? No. That son of a bitch right there! William Shelton? Yes? Doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. That coward thinks he can run for it. Son of a bitch. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Don't let that asshole get Sorry. away! Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Go on, get after him! Go, go. Come on. Hold it right there, Shelton! Shelton. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Shelton? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my, my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is going to love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. You think Mal is done with the autopsy? Better call it in and check, Phelps. Between the driver and the widow, I say we start dealing with the facts. You can drive. And where exactly well, are guess. we going? Actually, uh, I'm... 
Don't be angry, I don't know yet. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. No, I sound stressed. Phelps, see Message me at Central please. Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. Thanks, ma'am. Okay. Now. You're behind the wheel. You Bye. know where you're going. Where are we headed? To Macy Street. Straight we can up. put the drive in front of a the judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds oh. to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. The knife. Are you kidding me? Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a <laughs> bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Yeah. Where's the, the, the velvet cake crumbs on By it. By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Let's bring her in. Yeah, interesting. Things just got a little interesting. Yep. And, uh, how much you want to bet I'm not driving? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. So, where do you want to go? Where do you think? It rhymes with rad and radisson, okay? Spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy oh, now? Okay, you're clear. He's you're in clear. the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, oh, shit. Leroy. <laughs> if you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. Oh, they're whispering in my ear, telling me how we had to get rid of them, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, all shut the up. You covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with think it. I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake. It's oh, too shit. late, Sabo. This motherfucker. Damn it, Sabo! She was pretty! Call the police! Where is he? Oh shit, he went this way. I don't know he's clear. Sabo, fences. stop God or damn. I will shoot! Son of a bitch, get over here. Oh no! Damn. Dude, what? What the? Sabo, wait, Sabo. Sabo. You come any closer and I will pull the trigger. Buddy. How long do you think you can hold out? Sabo, Sabo. Sabo. You want to back off right now. 
Sabo. Told you. You look spooked, Phelps. Uh, then I thought you'd been under fire before. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. It's awesome. That's cool character uh, building there, right there. The actors are, are awesome in this game. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how this a guy. good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. Billy. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Keep up the good work. What does that have to do with Muay Thai? Where's my bonus? I, I want a month off. At least. Damn. It's even more vehicle damage than last time. Another visit to race. You would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. Slip of the tongue. Alright, I think that concludes it for the night here. Uh. Phelps, Mikowski. B Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on! Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. He's yelling at us that we just, uh, not that we're the Golden Boys here. Uh. <laughs> All right. Man, it was fun. Uh, another day in LA. Making the world a little safer. Case by case. Although we lost the blonde. Can't save them all, I guess. Dirty job. No one's got to do it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Alright. Um, there's no save. Auto save. The outfits real quick. And a new outfit. Dapper. Where that blue teal shit? Oh, the lightning is cool. You know what? I like this. City of Angels is much more dangerous by night. I don't know what that means. Cole! A, if that's got a things to do. I'm changing to a new suit. And you watched me. I want to make homicide. Me change. Okay. Never been in I your swear office. More oh, I have, but the only in cinematic hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate, romantic type like you, Cole. I don't believe a word. Busy now? Can I ignore you some other time?
That being said, over and out. I thought I was gonna be able to save it another like checkpoint marker thingamajig, but I'm not gonna not gonna fret this. Oh look, there's a plane. That's cool. I forgot they had planes animated in this game. Oh, the immersion. Okay. Till next time. Officer needs help. 103 and Buddies, pals, fam, paletas, mamalonas. Love you. Stay safe. Good night. You have a better one, Paletas. Take care, brother.